if you want to know how to use Project 64, then watch this video. Let us show you how it works. Now, before we jump into the video, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to check us out on eBay at GameXTC. You'll get valuable information on leveling up your video game hardware and software. The first thing you want to do is go to Project 64's website, the link's in the description, and then you click download here. Once downloaded, you then click the setup application. You may or may not receive a Microsoft verified app pop-up. If you do, just select install anyway. You'll then be presented with the setup wizard. Here, you select next, choose your installation folder, and then select next again. You then have the option to create additional tasks. Here, you can create a desktop icon, and you can select portable mode. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it as the default settings and then click next, which will take a few seconds to complete. And once complete, you then click finish. Project 64 will then ask for your game directory. You will then have to locate your games folder. In my case, my games folder is called subscribe, just to remind you of what to do next. You'll then have the option to select your video plugin. Now, as I'm using a more modern PC, I'm gonna select modern PC. However, if I were to use a CRT monitor, I would have opted for the older PC. Once you make your selection, click OK. And your games will then show on the UI. Now let's go through the options. Here we go to graphic settings and you'll be able to change the resolution and your aspect ratio. And to ensure that there are no tiering problems, just enable the V-Sync. And if you want to enhance the image quality, just turn your anisotropic filter to high. Click Safe and Close, go back into your options. You also have the audio settings, which just controls the volume. And then we can go into input settings. Now it's worth noting that Project 64 works with your PS5 controller, PS4 controller, Xbox One controller, and Xbox controller perfectly fine. Well, those are the controllers that I tested this with. To configure your controller, all you want to do is select the command on your UI. Here, I've selected up, and then I press that button on my D-pad. I then selected down on the UI and pressed down on my D-pad. You can do this for all the commands on the UI. And as you press a button on your controller, it registers it on the UI so you know that the controller is syncing. Once you're happy with your setup, you select apply and then okay. As we've done that, it's time for the fun part. Now that the setup is complete, we can sit back and play a little bit of GoldenEye. Till next time, see you later.